Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate nuclear power plant guide for SCUM 0.8. Now, I am planning a lot of videos um, from tomorrow, okay? But I just thought I'd bring you guys this guide first, okay? So, at the moment, the nuclear power plant and everything that goes with it is working perfectly. The modular base building is working almost perfectly. The farming is working great. The only thing that is not that great is the modular vehicles at the moment. So I thought I'd just give you guys quick videos on how to get up to scratch with the competition, okay? It's because, yeah, I got early access to the game um, two days before it came out and spent about 24 hours on stream researching everything and then about eight hours off stream researching everything so today i'm going to show you the perfect guide to the power plant um, and how to get to the main loot as fast as possible um, i'm going to show you guys two routes you can take either route it doesn't matter uh, but as soon as i get to the power plant if you don't want spoilers on how to get to the main loot as easily as possible then you can just stop the video there, okay? But I'll warn you before we get there, I want you to get all the information about the power plant, about the radiation around the power plant. And then when we're at the power plant, I'm going to tell you, okay, now I'm going to show you the two routes and then you can always just skip the video, okay? So first of all, the power plant is right here, okay? And the first thing I want to show you is... I'm in single player at the moment, so I'm just going to add a circle over here. So I'm just going to create a, create a new zone now. Let's make it red. It's fine. Okay. Apply, and then I'm going to add a circle here for you guys. So the, nu the, the nuclear power plant, the, the radiation comes from the uranium. The power plant blew up year this year is the main power plant this is the main source of the radiation not a lot really all the all the buildings okay to the left of it right here everything on the right of the power plant that big building where the smoke is coming out of that's where the nuclear you know um, reactor exploded and that's where you want to go where the smoke comes from okay so most of the radiation comes from there and i've already tested how wide the radiation zone is so the radiation zone is roughly that size okay roughly roughly that size so i'm just going to make it red there and apply it okay exit resume so if you look at the if you look at the power plant, you are going to pick up radiation from the beginning of the circle, okay? But the radiation is only going to start seeping through at about ten percent into the circle, okay? So if you have to walk down this road, at about year the radiation is, radiation is going to start seeping into your system. Okay, but this is the first big tip. You can take a screenshot of this. This is roughly how big the radiation zone is um, around the power plant. So be very careful that you don't build a base within this radiation zone or that you don't enter the radiation zone without making plans to deal with it. Okay, and I'm showing you here that I'm in the C0 bunker now. And in the C0 bunker, you get four, you get these rooms over here okay this is the new design of the rooms um you can remember these rooms okay this is uh you get get these rooms okay with a medical locker here and the sliding door okay if, if you guys are new sliding door that you open up here then you get these desks okay you get these rooms here and these this room here you can open up this locker with a crowbar okay so I'm going to open up this locker with a crowbar quickly just to explain to you why you want to go into a bunker first to get this locker and open it up with a crowbar. You can open it up with lock picking if you're good enough as well. But I'm just going to open it up with a crowbar quickly and explain to you guys why it's so important. Okay. 
Okay, so this takes quite a while. Okay, until you level up your strength. The higher your strength is, the faster you will open this up with a crowbar. Okay, and as soon as you open it up, you will get potassium, which is very, very important. Okay, you can, you can use the gas mask as well. The gas mask will help, but not as much as a hazmat suit. Okay, so you're going to get the potassium, okay? Um, you can take that as well. You can sell it later. But this, this is the big thing, okay? Potassium um, is a medication used in radioactive emergencies. It will block out up to two sieverts of radiation in the body. After, it, after the, its effects stop, the blocked sieverts returns. Also, radiation can still get absorbed and harm you even during the effects of the medication, okay? So, I want you guys to drink this before you go into the radiation zone, okay? You can find a hazmat suit um, in bunkers, but you're going to have to do lockpicking, okay? And not all of you are good with lockpicking. If you're good with lockpicking, then you can just loot bunkers, lockpick you know, the, the lockers with the hazmat suit in, and you'll be fine. Unfortunately, you can't crowbar the lockers or the uranium containers that's in the power plant um, with a crowbar, okay? So you're going to have to do lock picking in there. But I just found it very, very important for you guys to at least get the potassium. Now, it's very important with the potassium that you only drink one, okay? So we're only going to drink one tablet, because it doesn't matter how many tablets you drink, it won't increase... The protection that it gives you okay and I'm, I'm i've already got um radiation presence okay because the radiation zone is a little bit bigger okay a little bit bigger than that so the radiation zone actually goes over the um the bunker okay so just remember the radiation zone is extremely big. It's about 10% bigger than this year. It's about 10% smaller than this year. Just know that the radiation zone is extremely big, okay? And the test that I did, I figured out this um, this size circle. So, yeah, um, but although, okay, we've got 5% radiation already, but you can see there the potassium is already starting to work. Even though we just um, took one tablet, it's going to go up until it blocks two SV, okay? And the effective SV at the moment is um, zero, okay? But the radiation is 5.2, which gives us uh, exposure of radiation of 0 0.7 SVs. So once the once the potassium goes past 0 0.7 okay we we will we won't get more um radiation okay um we, we won't get more svs but the thing is we want to get into the power plant as fast as possible so when you go into the power plant there's two entrances this is the main power plant you want to go in from the south or from the north you don't want to enter here. You want to get to it as fast as possible, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run right through the radiation without anything on me to show you guys how fast I can get in there, okay? So I'll be back now. Okay, guys, so here we are at the beginning or uh, at the end of the bridge. I just ran across the across on the road across the water okay and now i'm looking at the power plant and there is where the smoke comes from okay so now we're in this awesome looking radiation zone which is absolutely freaking fantastic best graphics in the world best effect in the world best survival game in the world okay um but the closer we get to it the worse this is going to get okay and a radiation is fine until you get a condition called acute radiation syndrome ars if that goes to level four you're basically dead if you don't have phoenix tears okay the only way you're going to survive is to have phoenix tears so the closer you get to that smoke the more the radiation is going to get so you want to get in and out as fast as possible now i'm not going to lock pick it because it definitely depends on your lock picking skill how many locks you want to pick in there, okay? If you're not good at lock picking, you don't want to stay in there if you don't have a radiation suit, 
okay? So in the beginning, just try and get the radiation suit and get out, or maybe first get try and get a ra radiation suit in a bunker before you get here, if you're not good with lock picking. If you are good with lock picking, okay, then you can do this fast. And to save as much time as possible, I'm just going to use guard mode to open up these lockers fast for you so that you can see the loot that we get and why this is worth it and why where the smoke is is the only place, the main place you want to be. Yes, this place has got a lot of loot. Yes, it's a great PvP zone. Yes, you know, it's fantastic. But this is the main reason for the power plant. So as soon as you come across the bridge, you're going to run to the corner, okay? So you're going to run right through here, okay? Right past this, and you want to run through past the corner here. You see the corner of the building? Big corner of the building goes to the smoke, okay? You want to run through here. Okay, open up this door, just like in the trailer, there was a trailer of this door, okay? You want to open up this door. You want to open up the door in front of you and don't take those stairs, take these stairs. Okay, and now you're just going to run up these stairs as fast as you possibly can. Okay, because time is the issue. You are now inside the power plant and you are getting major radiation. Okay, so you're just going to run up and up and up and up and up till you can't run up anymore. Okay. And then as soon as you've run up, you're going to go this way. And you're going to run up and up and up and up. So you can't go anymore. And then you're going to open up this door. Okay? And now you are at the smoke. Okay? How you get there, we want to get to that that concrete there. How you get there is completely up to you. Okay? I'm just going to try and be as fast as I possibly can here. Okay? So what I usually do is I just um, go up here. Okay? And then I just jump up here. And then I just want to walk up here. You can go down there immediately. Okay. But you're going to get fall damage. And at this moment, because the radiation is probably going to kill you, you don't want any fall damage. Okay. So you're going to run around here. Okay. You're going to run around here. Then you're going to um, just go down here. No fall damage. Then you're going to fall down here. No fall damage. And then you want to go onto this, walk down, and then drop down. Now, you don't want to get close to that. That is the main core that exploded. You will die immediately. You want to get to this. So I'm going to admin open it. Okay. Don't get anything in there. There's three here. You're going to open up this container. Nothing inside here. So they did lower the spawn rates, which is very, very good. Nothing inside there. And now, there's only three inside here. But if you go through here... Okay, and you go not the rock. Okay, you come down here. Now you're going to get blinded. As soon as you open this door right here, okay, you want to turn. You just got want to look behind the door and open this door. Okay, and I'm just going to um, don't, don't want to waste time with the puppets right now. So this is the main room. Okay, this is the main. This is what a, what a locker looks like with the hazmat shooting. Okay, this is what the locker looks like that you opened with a crowbar. You can open up this locker with the grooves in it with a crowbar. You cannot open this solid locker with a crowbar. You have to do lock picking and this thing's got a silver lock. This thing has got a bronze lock. Okay, and all these containers have bronze locks. So we're just going to open up them quickly. Okay, so that's four already. We found four containers already. We're just going to look on this side. Okay, and we want to be quick. Five, six, seven. Okay, so they lowered the spawn points, which is really, really good. When I did the testing, we found it. We found one in every single crate. But I mean, you can sell them for a fortune. So it's good that they did that. Here's another one with the hazmat shooting, and another one that you can crowbar open if you want to. Okay, but we're not doing that. Opening up this one here, we're getting that. Okay, and then we just want to make sure we don't miss anyone's. And like I say, if you're good with lock picking, this is much better. Okay, there we get another one. 
another one you can see there's a lot of containers here you don't really want to go anywhere else guys because this is you are dying at the moment you are definitely dying at the moment okay so that's it okay we are happy with what we got at the moment now you want to go out remember behind the door now you want to go this way you don't want to go behind the door you want to go this way okay you don't want to go that way let me see here quickly no no i always went this way always went this way you want to go here over the steps yeah you want to go this way let's think here you go down the steps you want to go down 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 you want to open up this door okay now you want to jump onto here just take it slow just take it slow don't rush doesn't help you hurting yourself that's not going to help anyone okay you want to go down here and then you want to go down here okay and you want to run this way go down again down 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 okay and then we want to go this way this is this is the way that we're going to go out can go over here this is even this is even faster okay you can climb over here we go out here and we're free we are free now we run want to run south okay because you are basically on the southern part of the power plant and you want to run south okay as fast as you can and as you guys can see okay we did pick up a lot of radiation but with the pot with the potassium and a one gas mask okay it's much better it's much better without the gas mask without the potassium it's much worse okay because although the sv level is 5.6 we still that minus two guys helped a lot and i mean we picked up radiation before we ran here okay we actually picked up radiation in the bunker okay literally in the bunker so now we want to run down this road because this road is a good indication of how the heck we get out of here okay okay we are basically outside the radiation zone now okay but we still picked up a lot of radiation okay and when I tested the game, the radiation went to your clothing, um, like you were infected by the radiation. Um, but at the moment, you know, the um, the radiation isn't 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 damaging you. you know, the the clothing isn't picking up any radiation, which is a bit you know, which is something new, but it's a little bit easier. But as you can see now, it's going to C three, which is very 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 dangerous. Okay very 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 dangerous but if you had money okay like you will get money in the world you will find things you can sell it okay and all you just need 250 dollars to do this okay only 250 dollars and I, and the reason i say you only need 250 dollars is because it's a great um, return on your investment so if you've got Phoenix Tears, you're safe. If you don't have, have Phoenix Tears, you're a little bit stuffed, okay? You're a little bit stuffed. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to run as far as I can to make sure I'm out of the zone, okay? I just want to make sure I'm out of the zone, and I'm going to run to... I want to run to a place where I know where I am, okay? I'm going to run to a place where I know where I am. So this on the map seems okay. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. And now all I can do, if I want to, okay, is just come lie down here. Okay. So I can craft a flag or whatever, a blueprint. It doesn't really matter. Let's try and put down a flag here. Okay. Um, but I want, I actually want, uh, I actually want a blueprint. So, 
can't make a big blueprint at the moment. Let me just check here quickly. Sorry guys, I'm just looking for an item here. Um, but it's fine, it's fine. We can just use the flag bl blueprint, okay? So you put the blueprint here. And now you're bleeding. Okay, you've got C4, you're gonna die. Okay, no worries, no worries. You just lie down. And accept your fate. Okay. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add 250 bucks to my bank account, okay? So before you do this, I'm going to show you how the bu uh, banking system works in future videos. But all you do now, all you do before you come is you deposit 250, okay? Just 250 bucks to your bank account. So... Set current balance to... All online is 250. That's all I want. Um, normal. A normal card, uh, a classic card only costs 100. Okay. So we're going to go normal. Just a normal bank card. And there we go. We've got 250 bucks, guys, which you can get very very easily okay so i'm gonna wait now i'm gonna wait now and die okay and i'll be back now okay so there we died okay and i made one mistake is that a sector spawn costs a thousand you need at least a thousand guys which is very very easy and i'll show you that in my ultimate guide that's coming very very soon um, and yeah, in the description below is my discord. If you want to be part of that ultimate guide where I show you everything you need to know about scum right from the start up to the very end. Okay. Right from the most basic thing that you have to learn up to the most advanced thing you have to learn in scum. Then you want to be part of that ultimate guide. If you, and if you want to play with me through the playthrough, I'm going to do it on single player okay so that we don't get disturbed i'm going to do it with very exciting settings okay so it's a massive experience for you um so just join the discord down the description below and just look for my um, notifications where i'm going to give you my single player settings so that you can enjoy the playthrough with me okay and i'll make a i'll make my i'll give you my server ini file for my for the ultimate guide and i'll give you an easy one like if you think the puppets are too many or they do too much damage on my ultimate guide playthrough because i want to make it exciting for myself you know and entertain and educate you guys so um i'll make a uh, luthia server ini okay for my ultimate guide, and then I'll make an easy server I, I and I that you can still follow my guide with me, but it will just be a heck of a lot safer for you. Okay, so you need a thousand. Okay, so we're going to spawn in the sector in the C zero sector. Okay, and you almost never spawn on. You almost never spawn on the radiation zone. Okay. I don't think there's any spawn points on the radiation zone, so you're probably going to spawn around here. Most of the time, you're going to spawn underneath here, okay? So it's actually perfect. And now we're just going to fly to our rock. Open up the parachute with F. Onto our flag zone. Make sure we're, out, we're not getting any radiation, so we are far away enough from the zone, okay? Then we're just going to destroy the flag, search our body, okay? And then we're going to take our loot back, our bow, our basic equipment that we got for this mission, okay? A hazmat mask, it's fine, the shirt, the pants and the shoes and we're just going to throw all these orange clothing away so that we don't get detected 
And now you see we're getting a bit of radiation presence because of this, okay? Because of the depleted uranium. But we're going to get rid of the uranium as fast as possible, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run to either that bunker. That bunker is... Yeah, that bunker is a little bit further away, but whatever you think is safer, guys. You can run here or you can run there, okay? Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go there quickly, um, and I'll show, you guys, I'll show you guys how much radiation you're picking up across a sector. This is roughly two sectors. So I'm going to skip time now, and I'm going to show you guys how much radiation we're going to pick up, okay? Very, very slow. And what we can do is because it's so slow... Okay, because it's so slow, we can just take one more potassium. We can't take a potassium if we've got a mask on. So we're going to eat one potassium, put the mask back on. And now I'm just going to run and I'll show you guys, I'll tell you guys how much radiation we picked up after running one sector. I wanted to leave this tip at the end when we got to the trader, but it's going to happen right now. So I drank a full canteen of water uh, too early okay you want to drink a full canteen of water when you're about a sector away because i'm going to pee in my pants now but what i want you to see when i pee in my pants is the right ra the radiation presence okay just look at the radiation presence i'm peeing in my pants look at the radiation look look the radiation went away guys the radiation went away Okay, you lost radiation, but because we've still got the hot loot on us, okay, you guys know what I mean by the hot loot, okay, it's still a problem, but it's fine, okay, you got rid of a bit of the radiation, that's fine, makes makes the risk less for you to, for you to progress into the dangerous, okay, and you can see my bladder is filling up again, so it's no problem, okay, our bladder is still... We'll be able to pee as soon as we get rid of the hot loot because they say um, there's basically, again, to save yourself from the ARS effect, you need Phoenix tears. But they say you can wash yourself in the water. Um, washing your clothes doesn't really work for me, okay? And um, they say peeing and sweating. I tried sweating. That doesn't really work for me. But peeing works. And peeing isn't too difficult. You just keep drinking water, okay, until your water goes over 100%. And as soon as your water goes over 100% there, okay, um, at your water level, there at your water level, then it's going to go to your bladder very, very quickly, okay? As you can see, it's going to my bladder very, very quickly. So we'll be able to poop this out. So here we go now. Just going to rest a little bit. So all you want to do, guys, is get rid of the hot loot. Now, why did I say that the $1,000 that you lose for respawning a sector, why is that worth it? Because as soon as you can train yourself to open bronze locks, then you can at least get one uranium. Okay, I don't expect you to get as many as I got now, but you can at least, you know, get one uranium. And I'm going to show you now how much one uranium is worth. You come here to the armory, okay? What's up? And then you get rid of the hot loot. One uranium, guys, is 6,000. Okay, and you're going to get fame. If I take this, look at my fame, um, just look at my fame quickly. My fame is 95, okay? There's various ways to build up your fame, but I'll make another video for that, okay? But if we sell the one piece of Nothing uranium... <laughs> Kidding. Nobody okay? cares. We've got 6,000 bucks. And we got fame, okay? Five fame per uranium. Now, unfortunately, this trader doesn't have a lot of funds. Guns, come on, load Okay? It. We're going to have to fix that Obviously. for... We're going to have to fix that for the single player ultimate guide. Okay. Because on servers, traders have, start, you know, traders have about 100K of funds on them. But at the moment, the trader doesn't have a lot of funds on him. So uh, quite a bit of time has to go by on the server for the trader. 
to have funds on him. But we can always go to another trader. Okay, we can always go to another trader. But what we're going to say now is... Um, that thing registered. What we're going to say now is, you know, that we only Nobody found one. Cares. We're going to imagine we only found one. Okay. So now we drop this into the ocean. Just get it far away from us because it's dangerous. Okay. So I'm just going to throw it down here. Six, 12, 18, 24. That's the best case scenario. One uranium is fine, okay? One uranium is fine. So, we got 6,000 bucks. So, we got a big return on our investment there. And we got a lot of fame, guys. And I literally ran. I literally ran. Look there. My dexterity is at, you know, I built up 2,300 there, 800 there, 100 there. My running skill, okay, went up. So I ran, guys. I ran a long distance, okay? Um, and I'm going to be able to pee soon. And now that we've got money, welcome, welcome. we can buy some bread. Feel free to browse around. Um, not here. Not here, okay? Because you, after you've ran so far, okay, you, def you definitely got to need bread. Bread we're going to eat. Get right here at the saloon. Don't ask me why it's at the saloon. New clientele. Step right up. So we're gonna get bread here. Yeah, 153. That's fine. When you need another round. Okay, because you probably ran yourself to death there. And bread just gives you a very, very nice balance of everything. Gives you carbs which I'm going to explain to you is extremely, extremely important for you so that you don't lose protein. And you don't want to lose protein to gain strength, okay? But I will, I will tell you about that in a later video. But bread is very, very powerful. And we're going to stop eating, okay? Because we, over, we overate there. Now, so the uranium is gone. Okay, and it doesn't say that anything's got radiation. But in any case, so, that potassium is, no, the potassium isn't in our system anymore. So what we want to do is want to eat and um, drink one. Um, no, we want to, don't want to drink potassium now. So what we're going to do is we're going to pee again. And look at the radiation. There, it's gone, guys. That will disappear on its own. Okay? That will disappear on its own. And we're safe. We're safe. Okay? So, that is a great return on investment. But if you want to do this faster and safer... I'm going to show you how to do that. So in the bunkers, you will find that locker that you have to open with the, with the lockpick, okay? Uh, but I mean, to open a silver lock, guys, you know, the majority of the player base struggles with lockpicking. That's why I didn't want to start it that way. This way, everyone can do it because you just have to open bronze locks. You can get lucky with bronze locks, especially if you start with advanced lockpicking. You can get lucky with advanced um, with advanced locks, okay? Or you can ask someone to help you that's good with lock picking. And if anyone in the comments knows how to wash yourself, because it says here, some of the already absorbed radiation can be temporarily blocked with a potassium, which we've done, okay? But it's not in our body at the moment. You can wash yourself to get rid of the external radiation. Wash yourself. Washing your clothes does, doesn't work, guys, so... I'm not sure what they mean with that, okay? But then it says you can what um, sweating and peeing will also help with getting rid of internal radiation. So we got rid of the internal radiation, okay, um, by peeing. And and apparently this stuff is still on our clothes, but we can just keep peeing. 
We can just keep peeing. And I'm not sure what they mean by wash yourself. But we're going to try that right now. Which are going to spawn in... Soap. Okay. I mean, like I, I've seen... There's... Guys, this update is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Except for the cars. Except for the cars. The, the, the update is phenomenal. Okay. So... If I take off all the clothing. Take off that. And we go in. Th We're in the water now. Okay, we're in the water. Oh, we need the soap. We need the soap. Okay, we're in the water with the soap. Decontaminate. Decontaminate all. That is a new option, guys. That is a new option. I like it. I like it. That is a new option. Okay, I don't. I, I want as little clothing on me as possible. Don't do want to decontaminate too much. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, finally, we've got this option. This is very interesting. We still can't decontaminate. And that's the thing, it doesn't help you washing your clothing because it's 0 0.4. And if you wash all. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. So we've got a decontamination option. Let's eat this. Okay. So we've got the iodine going there. And that's not giving us any option. If we do this, that doesn't give us any option. We take the soap, that doesn't give us any option either. This is very weird. If we put, add it to a quick slot, that just puts it in our hands. Okay, guys, this wasn't in the build, okay, that we tested. But it looks like the soap has got a, has got a purpose. We just don't know how to decontaminate ourselves yet. Let's pee quickly. Um, let's pee again. There we go. Did you gone? Did you gone? We didn't need to decontaminate ourselves. Okay? We just swam in the water, washed one piece of clothing, took potassium after we we're in the safe after we're in a safe area and we don't have the hot stuff with us and that's it we survived guys we survived okay like i say this is a power nuclear power plant guide and the rest we will get professional on like i say the de decontamination is is something new um so yeah we'll find out how that works at some point okay so to finalize this, that's the one way of doing it, okay? Now, if you're good with lockpicking, then you can get a hazmat. 
Okay, and I suggest using the modern has, not the modern one, sorry. I suggest using the vintage one. The only difference between the modern and the vintage is you can't wear armor with a modern. But because there's so much camouflage at the power plant with the effects, except if a person's playing with low graphics settings. But in any case, guys, usually the person who sees the other person first wins. Okay, Usually the person who shoots the other person wins. And if I see you, I'm going to shoot you in the legs. So I don't care if you've got a tactical vest on. I'm just going to shoot you in the legs and kill you in any case. But... A yellow, a yellow um, Among Us character running around the power plant is much easier to spot than this guy. Okay, this guy is a lot harder to spot. But for the thumbnail, I'm going to take the modern one. For the thumbnail, I'm going to take the mo modern one. Okay, so now we've got nothing on us, and now I'm going to use some powers. Okay, to show you the other entrance. And, yeah, we have got the radiation suit on, so we don't really, 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 really care. So we're going to teleport all there. Okay. So there it is. Now we've got the radiation suit on. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the other entrance. So I showed you the entrance from the south side. Now I'm going to show you the entrance from the north side. And all we're going to look for is the ladders. Okay. And again, I'm just going to use the kill puppets here because my settings are rough, guys. Rough. There's like thousands of puppets. Okay. Thousands of puppets. Let's see when we get into this area how many puppets there are. You see, guys? You know, you've got camouflage. You don't need to be yellow when you're running here, okay? You've got a lot of camouflage. It is difficult to see things. So as soon as we go run down this road, I like to use the road to make it easier for you guys. I like to use the road. So we're going to run down this road until it goes to the right. Again, we don't want to run over through the back. Now let's see how many puppets. Oh, there's 39 puppets. 39 puppets. That was a lot in our vicinity. Okay. So now you go right. Okay. You go right. And you're looking for the stairs. So you go right. You go through here. You're looking for the stairs. Okay. So there's no stairs here. Just keep going right until you see the stairs. Through here is going to be the stairs, I think. No, not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Just going to kill the puppets again. Another 74. I'm telling you guys, my settings are rough. You're going to have to watch the ultimate guide to see what that looks like. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This fencing over here. This fencing over here. Okay. Right here. Right here. This barbed wire fencing, this is where we're going to go in. Look how many puppets I've killed, guys, with that command. 39 plus 74 is 100, 170. 170 puppets just in this area with my settings, okay? And you're going to see what that's, what those settings look like in my ultimate guide for, uh, for Scum 0 0.8. So here we go, okay? Just come up the stairs. And you just want to go high. That's all you want to do. You just want to go high. Okay. You're going to climb up this ladder. Go up. You just want to go up, guys. You want to go up. As high as you can go. Climb the ladder. Yeah, climb this ladder. No, 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 no. The smoke's on that side. The smoke's on that side. So we're going to climb this ladder.
This is a little bit dangerous. I don't think I want to show you guys this. No. This is a little bit dangerous. That That's too much parkour, guys. That's too much parkour for you guys. Okay? So I'm going to rather show you this. Okay? Don't want to go up that tower. I haven't seen anything at that tower yet. So we want to go down here. And we want, to, we want the safe route down here. Okay, so let's just see what's the safest route down here. Okay, so it is quite a fall down here no matter what. Am I right? It's quite a fall down here no matter what. Ah, it's a 1% fall. 1% fall is not too bad. Okay, that was a hard fall. What did we do wrong there? I'm not sure. But any case. Same route. Okay. And this has already been searched. So, same thing. But, no radiation. Same thing, but no radiation. Okay. So now, you can t uh, now when you come in here, remember, don't want to go towards the cement. You want to go this way. And as soon as you go through here, behind the door. Very, very important, behind the door. So this is what you would have gotten if you could open this because this got a bronze lock on it. Okay, let me just show you guys that. Um, screwdriver. And advanced lockpick item. Give me two advanced lockpick items. Okay, and now I'm just going to turn God mode off. Okay, so this one, this one, okay, which is normal, you're going to have to pick. Oh, and it's difficult because we've got the hazmat suit on. It's already more difficult because we have the hazmat suit on, guys. If you did this without the hazmat suit, you wouldn't get this red, the red glove, which is going to make it more difficult, okay? But we're just going to have six tries, okay, just to see how it is. So that's a bronze lock. This one with hazmat shooting is going to be a silver lock. Okay, there's going to be a silver lock. And this is where you're going to get the hazmat suit and potassium. Okay, and remember on the other side is another hazmat suit and more potassium. Okay, so we. And then this, bronze. This is bronze. Okay, so now we're just going to activate God mode again. Okay, so there's a lot of these containers in here, guys. And these containers... Um, there's other containers in this building, but this is the fastest way to do it. Okay, again, same. As, you know, as that mask and this. As that suit and that, okay? Now you do get, uh, you do get a uranium container that protects you from the radiation. But at the moment, that's not needed because with the hazmat suit on, you don't need protection from it. And even if you do go out the zone and take off the hazmat suit and then start getting the radiation, then you guys know what we did. We drank water, swam in the ocean, you know, washed one piece of clothing with soap. We just repeat whatever steps we did. But that's it, guys. That's the other entrance to the main zone. If you guys have anything else that you find out over time, okay, come back to this video and leave your leave your comments in the not you know leave 
um, leave whatever you've learned in the comments to just help the community to enjoy this game even more. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And yes, a lot of videos coming in the future and a lot of streams, okay? My ultimate guide, I am going to stream live because I don't want you guys to think that I'm gonna that I'm using um, the console commands in my ultimate guide, okay? So for the people that just want to watch the guide, that will be cut into um, nice short little videos. And for those of you that actually want to see, hey, how did he get th there precisely because he cut out hours, you know, like he played for five hours and he only gave us 30 minutes of footage. Um, how did he get there? Okay, well, he played six hours and he gave us an hour of footage, whatever the case would be. Then you can um, go to the streams or you can watch me live because I'm going to stream it live and then I'm going to record whatever I need to record. Okay, so... If you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then just click that sub button. And if you enjoyed this video, just click the like button. It really helps me. Um, and yeah, I want to do this full time one day. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great day. And see you guys next time, where we're going to cover a few secrets. And we're going to cover how wonderful the baseball is. And then we're going to finish it off with how wonderful the farming is. And I'm going to leave the vehicles until it's properly fixed. Because I don't really like to talk about anything that I feel affects come in a negative way for now. I know it's going to be great in the end, but it's not great at the moment. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.